Greetings, this is Daniel Kramer for Trailers from Hell, and I am so happy that you have tuned in today because, after all, this is your program. That is how uh, Patrick McGowan's character signs off his talk radio program in the movie of the day, another rare antiquity, Kings and Desperate Men. This is VHS. This is my the original VHS that I bought in Pittsburgh circa 2001 or two when I first encountered this movie, and there goes my cat. And uh, why am I all bundled up? Well, it, the movie takes place uh, in the dead of winter in Montreal, and uh, it's a very uh, chilly movie. So uh, uh, that also stars Margaret Trudeau of the Trudeau uh, political family. This is the first lady of Canada at the time who was acting in a... Canadian movie, and uh, there's I've I've spent the better part of twenty years researching this movie, finding out as much as I, I could find out about it, and uh, I've been on uh, I've been on a podcast about it. I've done uh, I've done so much to kind of track down as much as possible, and uh, I've been completely fascinated, obsessed with this thing. So uh, um, and I I've actually undergone a special restoration effort for the trailer that you're about to see. Uh, it's uh, an original uh, trailer that I, I found uh, um, that was on a, uh, a British video release. And um, the, the, the visual quality wasn't that great on that particular release, uh, pr probably several g generations down the line. So what I, I did is I went back in and replaced all the original visual clips with uh, better quality uh, a kind of a better quality version. So, uh, um, yeah, it's a rare, rare one of a kind thing that uh, you are about to see. And I hope that you will go to the trouble afterwards of tracking down Kings and Desperate Men, one of my favorite obscure films. And here's the trailer. Bundle up. You will have read your newspapers, watched your television, so that you'll be aware of what is happening. Kings and Desperate Men is one of my favorite non-Christmas Christmas movies, as it's set during the holiday season in Montreal, but it's not what you would formally call a Christmas movie. Think Eyes Wide Shut or Die Hard. And on that note, the director and star of this movie, Alexis Kanner, sued the makers of Die Hard, accusing them of ripping their whole concept from Kings and Desperate Men. Canner predictably lost that case. Because it's another contemporary Canadian thriller, Kings and Desperate Men is often paired with The Silent Partner, another fantastic picture with Elliot Gould that you should see if you haven't already. I've done a great deal of research into Kings and Desperate Men, and I've talked to some people who were on set. By all accounts, this was not a happy affair. Canner and McGowan were often stone-cold drunk while working, and technicians were in the habit of calling it King's and Desperate Crew. Co-star Andrea Markovici even threw an ashtray at McGowan's head immediately after she rapped on her scenes because of his bad behavior towards her and others. He allegedly replied, Why, Miss Markovici, why? Kanner took years to edit the film, shooting what seemed like a whole other experimental movie outside the primary radio studio location in and around the city of Montreal. The visual threads are very carefully braided. The result? I think it's a masterpiece. A really bold and unexpected movie that's unlike any other I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot, believe me. I'm not alone either. Director Ronald Neem of The Poseidon Adventure and The Horse's Mouth and film critic slash historian Arthur Knight were both wild for it, with Knight screening it for his USC classes and inviting Kanner to come speak about it on a number of occasions. The film got a very spotty release over the course of 10 years, but Kanner never seemed to lose heart. Today it does still tend to divide people. I've only either met those who are all in rah rah rah, or simply hate everything about it. Very little middle ground. It still hasn't gotten an official video release since the VHS days, but you can track it down online. You be the judge. I'm obsessed with this movie. Obsessed.